It's Nolan. What's going on, beautiful people? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. We're coming straight to you with a late night version of Inside the Industry, your number one source for music and entertainment breakdowns and commentary. We're definitely giving y'all some breakdowns and commentary tonight. As y'all should know, Metro Boomin' and Future's album, We Don't Trust You, just dropped about an hour ago. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I have not listened to the album just yet. But there is a song on there called Like That, which features Kendrick Lamar, that I did listen to, that we do have to talk about, because the beef in hip-hop amongst the men, amongst the big three, so they call it, is back. All right? Now... Kendrick Lamar and Drake, their issue dates back all the way to, what, 2013 at this point, 2014? Um, shortly after Drake appeared on uh, Good Kid, Mad City on Poetic Justice, um, 2013, Kendrick Lamar did the infamous control verse on Big Sean's record with Jay Electronica, who definitely uh, got overshadowed in that bout. And of course, we all know the lyrics that ruffled the entire industry's feathers. So much has been riding on that verse for the last 10 years that nothing really was the same. No pun intended, Drake. Um, I mean, literally, Ken Kendrick Lamar uh, called everybody out. J. Cole defended Kendrick Lamar at an infamous party with Jay-Z, Diddy, where Diddy actually tried to pour a drink on Kendrick's head for the shit he said on that record. J. Cole got up and pieced this nigga Diddy, and he should have goddamn gave him five to ten more pieces for the shit we've heard about him uh, the way we ended 2023 coming into 2024. All right? Now, getting to the new album. I didn't know that Future had an issue with Drake, but we do know Metro Boomin and Drake definitely have a bit of tension between them. I don't know the origin of all of that, but I do remember that there was a particular track on Metro Boomin's Heroes and Villains album last year that Drake was supposed to be on, uh, or at least Drake volunteered to put a verse on. Metro Boomin said, ah, I kind of like the record how I how it is. Don't really need your vibes on that. No disrespect, but we just don't want to add to it, right? So that's where things began to get a little bit shaky because who the fuck turns down a Drake feature in the industry? Nobody I know. Metro Boomer said, nah, I'm good over here. Better luck next time if there is a next time. Since then, Metro Boomer has definitely been sending some some subliminals via, uh, not Instagram, but Twitter. Drake definitely let it be known earlier uh, last year when he went on a live stream for his uh, his betting company that he works with and was like, hey, for all the underachievers and tweeters and deleters, uh, you know, it's up. Let us know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So basically, Metro Boomer have been putting out some tweets saying some foul, well, I won't say foul, but some slick shit towards Drake. Deleted it. Okay, we're leading up to what's going on today. Um, so now we've got this new album from Future and um, and Metro Boomin, and I believe Drake took some shots at Metro Boomin on the uh, on his previous album for All the Dogs. So now we've got Future and Metro Boomin with the new album. We don't trust you. A lot of people felt as though that album title meant. You know, that was a direct shot at Drake because we all know Future's tag for Metro Boomin is if young Metro don't trust you, I'ma shoot you. So it's like, oh, not only does Metro not trust you, I don't either, nigga. We on your motherfucking head top. You been out here gallivanting around with 21 Savage thinking shit is sweet. Nah, fam, we the OGs. We really gave you credibility out this bitch. You gonna have to answer to us. Now let's get to Kendrick Lamar, okay? A couple days ago, on his Finsta account, which I don't know what led Kendrick to get a Finsta, but he did. And he put up a post of a car. Okay. Interestingly enough, it was a Buick GNX that, that appeared to have been delivered to him. Right. But 
what really caught people's attention was the caption of the post, which really had nothing to do with the car. He said, hey, life get real tricky, no matter where you at with it. I never pick and choose what stories to relate to. All of them is relative. Like my mama say, though, different strokes for different folks. A good old saying could snap you back into reality sometimes. But in a moment of confusion, the best thing you can do is find a G and X. Make you realize the only thing that matters in life is that original paperwork. That TL2 code, one of 547. Some exclusive shit there. He said, it's over with, DHZ. My big cousin Pat Dog smiling down. Anybody want to line it up? I'll pull him off the floor and flip your shit. So this seemed like a veiled diss on his Finsta account where he posts some pretty funny shit, but he stays pretty inactive on there for the most part. But a lot of people are like, damn, nigga, what is you talking about? You speaking in the code of codes. Please, somebody come decipher this shit. Well, less than 48 hours later, we've got some King's English playing. Okay, so let's get to the verse. We all want to know about the verse. Now, if you want to hear this verse, you can go play the album. You could go to some of these other commentators on YouTube that have no problem playing audio, but y'all know how we get it over here. So Kendrick comes in. He's on verse two of this record like that with Metro Boomin and Future. He says, these niggas talking out they necks. Don't pull no coughing out your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. So don't be out here saying whatever the fuck you think you want to, nigga. Because uh, I'm way too paranoid for the bullshit. I might just snap and go crazy on you. I had to think about the shit later. He said, hey, hey, let's get it, bro. D.O.T., the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. We all know people think that Drake is a lame goofy with a check. You know what I'm saying? Much respect to you, but that's what the chatter is around the industry. It's been that way for a long time. Uh, he says, I mean, uh, I hope them sentiments symbolic. Ah, uh, my temperament bipolar. I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for me, excuse me, it's time for him to prove that he a problem. Niggas clicking up, but cannot be legit, no 40 water. Tell him. So he say, oh, niggas is out here clicking up, which Drake has been doing for the past 10 years. He, he clicked up with Future when he needed credibility, clicked up with 21 Savage. He's been clicked up with J. Cole as of recently. You know, that tour they did together, they've been hanging out and, uh, you know, sharing this bromance that they've had for their entire career, but most recently you've seen them a little bit more often than you were accustomed to. You get what I'm saying? And Kendrick's on the sidelines looking like, oh, niggas is really out here clicking up. Oh, is, is Cole picking a side with this clown? That's how we getting it. And I still don't fuck with you. It's all good. Let's let's get to it. Let me hit the studio with some real ones. You said no 40 water, tell him. Uh yeah, yeah, get up with me. Fuck sneak this and first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. You know, so again, directly calling out Drake and J. Cole, two rappers he's been tied and compared to for his entire career. Um, it takes less than veiled shots at the duo name, dropping the title of their 2022 hit first person shooter. We all know that. Uh, as well as the title of Drake's For All the Dogs, which comes up later. But let's 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 get to it, man. You know, fuck sneak this and first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. So I guess, I guess uh, Kendrick took it personal that they got on that first person shooter song. And um, he must have felt like niggas was violating. Okay. He said, I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel, if I had to, got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. So he's snatching niggas chains, burning tattoos. Like he getting on some real street shit in this verse. Okay, lost two men of soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Like, if you see me with a stick, nigga, it ain't no flute like Andre 3K, nigga. I'm really going to come to you. You know what I mean? Think I won't drop the location? I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me. So y'all been saying it's Kendrick, Cole, and, and Drake for the last, since 2010. It's 2024, nigga. It ain't no big three. It's a big me, Okay. Just only one. It's down to gladiator style. And, I, and I'm going to show, show y'all who's going to be the last one standing. So he's even letting J. Cole know if you're trying to line it up, I guess we're just going to have to get it down. Which I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know where things went south or sour with J. Cole and Kendrick. I thought that they were still friends. I thought they were still tight. I thought they hung out on their private time. 
Um, I know that Kendrick, I mean, excuse me, I know that Cole has been nothing but, you know, speaking highly of Kendrick. He even inspired um, Cole to make the KOD album and basically inspired him to have more fun with his music and expand his palette and his flows and everything. He literally said this. He went to uh, Kendrick's damn tour and was like, man, this nigga really got so many different styles of music and having so much fun with his crowd. Like, I want to get into that mode. And it clicked for him. So he's been nothing but sanctimonious with Kendrick. I don't know where this shit flipped, but I guess, you know, the enemy of my enemy or the friend of my enemy is my enemy. You know what I mean? So, motherfucker to be a three, nigga, it's just Big Me. Um, yeah. Now, this term has been used for a while, you know. Cole said it before. He said, love when they argue about the hardest MC. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. So, that that's on first person shooter. That's Cole's lyrics, you know. Kendrick then lets both rappers know that their work will not outlive his, okay? So he says, motherfucker, the big three, nigga, it's just big me, nigga, bum, what? I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince, outlive Mike Jack. Nigga, bum, for all your dogs getting buried, these are, that's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery. So, damn. Damn. Right, so Kendrick then lets both rappers know that their work will not outlive his, comparing his body of work to that of Prince, who outlived Michael Jackson by just under seven years. The two, while contemporaries of pop music for the better part of two decades, they also had a well-documented beef, that is, Prince and Michael Jackson. And a lot of people do pick sides on whose catalog they prefer. Do you like Michael Jackson, who was the king of pop? He was more of the safe choice which is crazy to think of Michael Jackson as a safe choice when he broke so many boundaries. Um, he always took what was relevant or what was out there in music and pushed it to the furthest possible extent. But then you had Prince, who was like literally a one of one, right? He was a music savant, an aficionado of sorts. He played all of the instruments to his music he ne didn't necessarily pull from what was already present. He was always trying to figure out what is new, how to create something that had never been done before, whether it be musically, sonically, or <laughs> visually with his ass out in chaps. So he like, yo, Prince lived out Mike Jack. You know what I mean? And to some, Prince music may outlive Mike Jack. So boom. Um, there can also be parallels drawn between the two beefs as Kendrick and Prince have been generally acknowledged to have deeper artistic values in what they produce while Drake and Michael Jackson have been two of the biggest pop stars. And of course we know Drake made that point of, uh, nigga, I'm one away from Mike Jack, nigga beat it at the end of first person shooter. Like y'all can't compare me to none of these niggas no more because I'm about to take over the entire industry. I'm about to have the most number ones ever in, in all of the shit. So please don't speak of no one else's name next to mine. Kendrick took offense to that. On some Michael Jordan shit. So there you have that. Kendrick has also shown love to Prince in the past, saying that he shared a recording session with the singer to get him on his 2015 song, Complexion. Uh, but of course, we never got to see that come to fruition. Now, while Drake and Kendrick and associates have been trading subtle shots at each other for years. It's interesting that K-Dot has seemingly brought J. Cole into this as well. That's what I said, you know? Um, so it's, it's getting a little it's getting a little shaky out here. It's getting a little crazy. It's getting a little wild. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, also of note is that Kendrick chose to go after Drake on a song with Metro Boomin in Future. Well, we talked about that before we even got here. Um, last... Well, 2022 Futures album, I Never Liked You, came out. And a lot of people think that this is like all of these are subliminal messages because we haven't seen Future and Drake really collab like that too much in the last few years. So I don't know, man. It's getting crazy. But what I do know is that Kendrick didn't pull no punches. He went straight for the juggler and he sent direct shots at Drake's head top. Right. 
I don't know what's going to happen. Some people are suspecting that Drake may have something in the tuck as well. And this is where we're going to get into some of the folklore. Now, some people close to the industry were predicting that something major was going to happen hours ago. Us simpletons, us people that are kind of not necessarily on the outside, but not on the inside with people like Drake, Future, Kendrick Lamar, or J. Cole. We like what's going on. So approximately around uh, four hours ago, well, eight hours ago, someone says, tonight we see how petty the owl is. So they got on and they put a, a, a glimpse of OVO sound that they were going to have some sort of show or drop a song. Low key, you heard that new. He says, bet he dropped a new song, LOL. Next thing you know, we've got someone else named Legend coming in saying, buckle up, brother. Another giant is dropping tonight as well. Loki says, is that right? He comes back an hour later. He says, oh boy, tonight is going to get hectic. Somebody asked him to say more. He says, I will not. Next thing you know, Eddie Francis comes in. I don't know all of these people, but they were definitely clued in ahead of time. He said, the rap boys beefing, all caps. Loki says, her lines are being drawn tonight. Hmm. Somebody by the name of AD702 says, everybody buckle up. It's about to get interesting on these rap music streets. This is all ahead. Karen Civil, celebrity publicist, well-known in the hip-hop industry. She says, the girls have been holding it down. Tag the boys in. Okay. Eddie Francis comes back. He says, y'all close, but there might be another contender who entered the ring. This was two hours ago. We don't know who else is coming. But somebody coming, okay? Pause. Somebody else says, well, ain't nothing else to be said. We know for sure one of the big disses tonight is from Kendrick. Like I said, he took a headshot. I don't know what's coming. Pause. But I'm going to keep my eye out because if Drake has something in the tuck, I'm sure we'll be hearing from him soon. These guys are all grown now. They're not at the stage of happy to be here no more. They're not at the stage of trying to develop and build a fan base no more. All of these guys have gone on world tours multiple times over. They've made millions upon millions of dollars. Most of uh, Drake, Kendrick, Cole, these guys are well on their way to a Billy before it's all over with. We know Drake has probably already crossed that billionaire mark. But I think it's about to get real. I love this. This is entertaining. We're about to get some lyricism. We're about to get some hardcore shit coming. Because the guys have been on some whack shit. The guys have not been wanting to be competitive. The guys have been, you know, trying to just rack up stats for the past few years. The people not named in those in this so-called big three don't even cut the mustard anymore. There's some dope lyricists out there, you know, on the independent scene, but they unfortunately don't make the conversation. I've been telling y'all since January that the guys in hip hop are very lackluster. The ladies have been running it. They've got storylines. They've got beefs. They've got fashion on their side. They've got looks on their side. They're going on tours. They're getting number ones. They're rising up the charts. They talking crazy whenever they want. They getting on Instagrams, throwing shots in their stories. They flexing up. They having the time of their lives. And the shit is just so entertaining. And every day it's like new updates that you can keep up with. With the guys, they want to be mysterious. They want to have mystique. They want to disappear for five years. They want to do all this. They want to do that. They want to link with the ops. They want to, you know what I'm saying? It's just not as entertaining. And it doesn't bring conversation to the fold. Which in 2024, if you're not in the conversation, you're not winning. Unfortunately, it's just what it is. Right. So I am very excited to see what is coming next, how this is going to unfold, what Drake has in his response. If J. Cole is going to be budged because we know that he's in rare form right now. Um, we just heard J. Cole go in on that uh, might delete later too. It sounded like he was definitely sending some shots. I don't know who he was going at, but first we heard him. We just heard Big Sean the other day come out talking about his 
consistency and why he's not mentioned with the big three. Next thing you know, we've got Kendrick saying, it ain't no big three, nigga. It's just big me. This is 2013 all over again. I'm feeling it. I'm liking it. And I want to see where this goes. Let me know what y'all think of this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. Like and share this video. Like and share this video. Become an insider. Come on inside, man. You know what I'm saying? This is inside the industry where we talk about everything that's going on in hip hop. I am a songwriter. I'm an artist myself. Um, I'm an educator in the music space. So we definitely get to the fucking nuts and bolts of the nitty gritty over here. If you have not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, become an insider, hit the post notification bell so you get notified of all upcoming posts and videos. And I will see y'all on the next one. I'm going to take y'all out with Let's Get It and I will check y'all later. All right. Oh, and before I go, I want to get I send a big shout out. All right. Um, real quick. SJD, thank you so much for the super thanks. I appreciate it. You're a great supporter. Definitely an insider. Um, I appreciate your contribution. We're going to run a lotto for you in your honor real quick, and then we're going to get to Let's Get It. It's crazy that we're going to go back to back with it, but that's just how it goes. So strap on. Pause. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Say ooh, ooh, yeah. What did I say? Ooh, ooh, yeah, Manada. Yeah, got fresh light. Yeah, they say, uh, well, I say throw it in my wallet. Yeah, thank you once again, Miss SJD. Thank you to everybody that showed up to the 10K stream last night. Thank you to all the Cash App crew that was there for the 10K birthday celebration. Thank you to everybody that sent super thanks, super chats, or um, super stickers before, during, or after the show. All y'all get mad love. Y'all are definitely my super insiders. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Much love and respect. Now we can finally get to the ending of this video. Peace. King of my city and cul de Coming, I swing like soldier rags. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my shit. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest, with drama, I'm fully abreast. Yeah. I was ready for years and they doubted me, uh -huh. all of a sudden they tell me they proud of me. Yeah. I been dropping these haters like calories, uh -huh. cross somebody came back with some batteries, stand for my honor, but you run no gunner, packing the stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble, I done came too far to be humble.